Hello and welcome to Mark Plex. And uh, if you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and uh, I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. So back in tutorial four, I created a really simple program that looked for divergences between price and stochastic in the simplest way possible. And that was really just looking for two pivots in the stochastic. And uh, if they made a higher low, then looking for the prices at the same bars that those pivots occurred. And uh, if the price made a or, or rather, if the second price was lower than the uh, the first price, then we classified that as a divergence. Now, since then, I uh, I did program uh, rather tutorial twenty six, which was a little bit more advanced, and recently program twenty eight. But I had one person emailing me asking, "Well, you I like tutorial four, but how would you go about making it so you looked for um, high divergences as well? In other words, not just uh, bullish." divergences but uh, also bearish divergences so I thought it would make a, a interesting simple tutorial just to go through that process so what I've done I've created a new uh, tutorial here just saved it to a, a different name and uh, what I'm going to do is just go through the process that I would go through to uh, to make um, to make this so we're also looking for bearish divergences so the first thing we need to do is look for uh, pivots, um, not just low pivots, we need to look for also high pivots. So what I'm going to do is just copy this um, part of the program and uh, paste it underneath. And I'm just going to change these to be condition 3 and 4. And we're going to do is we're going to be looking instead of a low pivot which is a minus one we need to make that plus one and uh, the same for the second condition condition four we need to make that plus one and uh, the other thing that we could do I did this originally I just said oh pivot bar one minus right strength what we could do is just make the length equal to right strength plus one and then if we do that this is only going to tell us when we've found the most recent um, pivot in the Oslo D and uh, we could do that uh, for condition three as well so it just uh, means the program is doing a little bit less processing okay so let's get rid of this Okay, so we've now looking for both um, low pivots in the stochastic and also high pivots. So having done that, we then need to copy this area here and change it appropriately. So what we want to have now is we want to have condition 3 and condition 4 and then the high of oh and one other thing we need to do is just change these um, returned values here in three and four so what I'm going to do is change these uh, O pivot price three O bar three and these to be O pivot price four and uh, O pivot bar four and then we'll also need to change those in this part of the program here in the variables so that we correctly declare them and uh, again what I'm going to do is just copy this and paste control V and I'm just going to change these from 1 and 2 to 3 and 4 like so okay so we can now go and uh, look at the conditions here. So what we're looking for is we want the the price to make a higher high. So we'll say the uh, the most recent pivot is going to be 3 so we'll say the high of that has got to be greater than the high of the previous pivot 
or rather the previous stochastic pivot and then the stochastic we need to make a lower high so we could say that the um, the value of slow the most recent value of O slow D at the pivot has got to be less than the previous um, value at the previous pivot okay so I'm going to call this uh, value 3 and uh, value 3 I'm going to change this to red and uh, we need to change this to 3 as well and uh, we also need to change these values here so we're going to be going from the second most recent pivot so that's 4 to the most recent high pivot talking about high pivots here which is in this case three and we don't want to go to the lows we want to go to the highs okay so I think I've covered everything there so what I'm going to do is verify that let's see if we've forgotten anything and uh, then go back to the chart and see if we're getting any lines it looks like we are so you can see here that we've got a lower high pivot in the stochastic and we're just comparing the prices at those two values and uh, we're getting a um, high divergence or a, a bearish divergence indicated there okay so um, it's a very simple program what I'm going to do is make this new program available with the previous program and uh, they will be available for download uh, under Tutorial 4. Thank you very much.